morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, Is it supposed to snow today? <laughs> I know we're supposed to. Not today, cameraman Dave says. No? Who now fashions okay. himself a meteorologist, apparently. Yeah. It is supposed to snow, I think, though, sometime this week, right, yeah. Dave? Yeah. Some, some point. Some or, little or, uh, a mix of scatters. rain and snow. Anyway, have you ever wondered why it's so quiet outside when it snows? And you I think haven't about wondered, but it's, I think it's the most beautiful thing ever when it's like big fluffy snow and everything is white and it's so quiet and beautiful. And it, it does seem quiet, it doesn't it? It seems very it's quiet. It's noticeably quiet yes. and there's a scientific reason. Really? So I thought now it was just who's the meteorologist? Mm, mm, yeah. mm. <laughs> you think it's just because people aren't outside? That's what Maybe I there aren't thought. as many cars? Well, here's the deal fresh snow absorbs sounds. Oh, yes, it lowers yeah. ambient noise over a landscape because the trapped air between snowflakes mm -hmm. reduces vibration. And that's why it's quiet when it snows. Oh, and it's so beautiful. Yeah, and so now you can sound all smart with there your friends. There you go. Now you can tell everyone. That's good That's good cocktail talk. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, I traps like air between snowflakes reducing vibration. Well, when it's cold outside, there is nothing better than a little bit of a warm bowl of soup. Isn't right? that true? It's true. So yeah. this is kind of fun. Um, MK Lifestyle Magazine actually did an article on where's your favorite soup in town and they yeah. grabbed a bunch of you know local local peeps um, to talk about it and I got a picture with me and John McGiver look at us hey. sharing a bowl of soup so here's the where deal where were you guys we we like our favorite soup is this is the same we like oh. the red pepper bisque from Soup Brothers yum I love yeah. Soup Brothers which is amazing and I love Richard's the owner I think he's incredible he does an incredible job um, so I always say I'm like I go there or I go to the urban market downtown in the 777 building I go there so those are my two favorite spots but we shared the same one so we got to go and get a photo together that's and cool. Soup. And did you so. both choose the exact same kind of soup? Yeah, there? we both chose the red pepper bisque. <coughs> That's interesting. So yeah, it comes with like rice in the bottom, then it's got like you know bread and all this stuff. It's really good. So anyway, um, the Their whole soup article. soup is always a meal too. The bread and right, and the whole article features some of like the best soup that everybody loves in town. And I'm a huge soup fiend. It's like one of my favorite foods of all time. So I, I just like thought it was kind of a cool too. little. That's cool really idea. cool. Yeah, so you can go to MKE Lifestyle, pick yeah. up a copy. Yeah, this is what it looks um, like. It's out on newsstands now at Sendix and all yeah. that stuff, too. And on Facebook, so. we're asking you what your favorite soup is. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite soup? There you go. I That's like it. it. Where's your favorite? What's your favorite soup? Um, there's a risk, apparently, to dry January. Um, okay. So a lot of, I've heard a lot of people I talking about. I last night. Oh, you did? <laughs> I'm doing dry January, but I needed a, I needed just one last night. <laughs> I get I it. Had one. <laughs> I get it. Um, so a lot of people doing uh, cleanse to that kind of thing. So um, avoiding alcohol for a full month does have benefits. It can help uh, normalize your blood sugar. I've heard of people oh, seeing yeah. drops in their cholesterol, improve sleep patterns. For sure. That's big and saving money, of course, especially if you go out a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but there are a lot of medical professionals who are now warning that those 31 days of abstinence can't reverse. 11 months of overindulging <laughs> and they worry about people who give it up in January and count down the ca uh, calendar to February yeah, that when they binge. go nuts again. But this is what um, a psychologist or psychiatrist said in this article is that if you truly want to be a controlled drinker, they say you need to be off alcohol for three months. Wow. Well, see, here's the thing. I don't, I, a lot of people I know do dry January, don't do it because they're trying to control their drinking. They do it just to kind of detox yes. after the holidays and they're like, I'm just going to I'm just going to be really healthy in January and that's a part of the health kick and so like if you if you break it and you have one it's like okay well I think if you're doing it for that reason because you think you're 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 verging on alcoholism or there's a problem then that makes sense but I the think a lot months. of people are doing it kind of like as a fad or they're trying to be healthy and just sort of kickstart their health goals and they do they do support that there are benefits even for those 31 days so that's good go. to know or like 30 it. days if you didn't include the first I yeah but yeah. Ah, interesting. You know, they've talked about that scam. You know, it's interesting because we, we talked about, oh, should we even mention it today? The scam for 2020, we're like on a, on a check or whatever, where if you write just the abbreviate 2020 to 20, that there's a potential scam where people could change the year after it. So instead of just being like 1720, they could be 172021. Oh, Do you know what I'm saying? And okay. They can add an extra year. And so it was interesting. And what's the like, benefit of that? Because then you can. So I was kind of reading because I was like, is there, you know, that was our question. Like, does it really, is it really a scam potential? Well, one of the things they said is like, especially for housing, if for some reason someone doesn't want you in the housing or they want, you know, whatever, they could, they could post date your check and say that you never oh. paid. 
you know, so something like that. So I said, just be aware of it. It's probably not a big deal. But if you at least put 2020 on your checks or any legal documents, then there's just no issues like that. So it's probably not an issue anyway, but just something to note. Yeah, and I'll, another thing to note, because I have sometimes, you know, for example, if, if we're going to work and we were going to record something after the show, we might bring an extra outfit. Yeah. So we have a change of clothes here or something. A lot of times those are things you forget, things that slip through the cracks. There's a great reminder um, in Real Simple Magazine that I thought was really helpful. They always say picture things in your mind so you can see it, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes your mind's just a little too full. Right, <laughs> yeah, but... Um, in your calendar, at least for an iPhone, I'm sure other mm -hmm. phones are like this too. You know how you can do simple, simple reminders by setting an alarm. Right. Well, I didn't realize, I'm sure you know this, you can label the yes. alarm. So you could say like, bring yes. heels to work tomorrow, Ooh. or don't forget to pack a yeah. lunch or something like that. And you can add emojis to it too, which I have found to be really helpful. And I'm doing that a lot lately. So yeah. see, here's oh. one of mine. Uh, one of my last ones is like, get up and be someone. And that's something oh, that I have on there. That's cute. A little and I got that from, you know, I got that from JJ um, Watts, Watts' mom. Because when I was able to go and interview her once for when we used to do our Coffee on Us, she had told me that's the one thing she said to all three of her boys every day when they left the house. She said, today, be someone. And yeah. so I love that. So I, that's what's on my alarm. Get up and be someone. Look at you with your positive affirmations. I, I seriously, that was one of the things that's always stayed with me after talking to her. And I just thought, I was like, okay, if that woman can have three, you know, yeah. pro athletes in her family, like she's doing something right. They know how to be you know? somebody. Yeah. I say that to my people. kids because you shared that story. Yeah. I think it's a great thing to say to kids. It's and it's cute. sort of like empowering. Too. It is. I love it. So put it on your alarm and your reminder. There you go. Be somebody today.